I'm Becky Duran. I live in Atlanta. Um, I'm a lifelong Republican and uh, I voted Republican my entire life. I've never deviated. However, this election cycle, I will. I'm not voting for policy. I'm not voting for who I like the best. I'm not even voting for probably what be good, would be good for me personally. I am, however, strongly against President Trump. And the reason is simply that I just fear for my country. And I'm afraid that under him, we will be irrevocably damaged. It sounds a little hyperbolic, and I've thought a lot about this and wondered why this is. Why am I having this response? Is it just because of his personality? Is it because of his tweets? Is it because of his just his casual cruelty or casual misogyny? Let's be real. He is. But it's actually for more than that. It's, it's just that it's the big picture. And I'm kind of a big picture person, kind of like a lot of people at this point in life. Um, everything, everything in life has a certain pattern. There's order, there's disorder, and there's reorder. Clearly, in 2020, we have been in a year of disorder. Uh, well, actually, uh, for the last four years, we have been in disorder. So, but four years is just too long. It's time to start reordering this country. Uh, why is this disorder any different than any other kind of election cycle or any kind of presidential uh, term? I thought about that too. I was very much against Obamacare. Um, I, while I appreciated President Obama, I marched on Washington. I didn't like that. I don't like this big government intrusions. I don't like the culture wars. I don't like all of these things that conservative Republicans typically don't like. But what I don't like even more than that <laughs> is the sheer disorder and chaos that the last four years have brought us. Certainly 2020 has been one of those years that, that, that no one really anticipated and certainly were out of control. Um, but certainly some of the things that were not simply a byproduct of a pesky global pandemic and racial unrest, et cetera, et cetera, is the lack of action or inaction by this president. He has done the one thing, he's actually not done the one thing that a president is supposed to do, which is to actually lead the country. Not just the red country, not just the corona skeptic country, the whole country, even the blue country, even the Fauci loving, liberal, blue state, urban, decay, whatever people, they're still Americans and he's supposed to lead them too, but he doesn't. This president seems to make more than anyone I have certainly seen in my lifetime as his primary objective, objective uh, power through chaos and perpetuating massive division, um, a distorted reality, lying prolifically, epically, entertainingly at some times. But still, this is our leader. How is this normal? How is it that we have somehow accepted this as a personality quirk? This is not normal. He is a conspiracy theorist. He's a QAnon supporter, or at least appears to be. Seriously, think about that. Any other time, we would be demanding daily mental acuity tests and not just the person, woman, person, man, camera, TV kind, or whatever it was that he seemed to be so proud of. Um, I'm frightened because his MO 
is to, to continue to divide the country and to continue to gin up and stoke resentments, victimhood, um, grievances, a false reality, and to continue more than that to make everything an us against them. Or the Republicans, or actually not Rep anyone for him is a good guy. Anyone else is the enemy. Whether it's a dictator like Putin, who I guess is good now because he supports Trump, or an ally who is not good now like Angela Merkel. We probably really don't like her because she doesn't really like Trump. How is this going to work on the world stage? How does this work for foreign policy? It's no accident that, what is it, 500 plus national security um, officials, uh, generals have all come out. Republicans have all come out supporting Joe Biden, essentially saying that President Trump is uh, is a threat to national security and the way that we do things. I listen to that. I listen to that. I read reviews on Amazon.com. If someone on Amazon, if everyone on Amazon who has bought this product gives it one star, then I'm not going to buy it. President Trump, everyone in his administration who has left, the national security people, the generals, they give him a one-star review. Why would we buy this? This is a bad product. He's a bomb thrower. Our country is already in chaos. It's burning, figuratively and literally. He's a bomb thrower. Why do we want that? So, to summarize, our country is good. I think we just deserve better. But more than that, we need to get some order back. We are not doing great. We need to make again we need to make America normal again. We need to make America sane again. We need to make America boring again. Joe Biden, check normal, check sane, check. Biden, uh, 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 kind, what did I say? Normal, sane, boring, sorry. I lost my train of thought here. See, I'm pulling a Joe Biden, but I promise you, I'm still way smarter than Donald Trump. <laughs> Make America normal again. Make America respected again. Make America sane again. Make America Bring out the best in people again. Make America someone who does not want to fight each other all the time. Make America a country that can find the common ground again. And this president can't do it. I'm a Republican, but we cannot do this one more term. We have got to find some order to this disorder. We have got to reorder and we have to do that in November. Therefore, I know who I'm voting for. I'm voting for Joe Biden. And I hope that every Republican might consider doing that too. Thanks.